are you? Extraordinary. Extraordinary. I have been taking a class about being extraordinary. And I wanted to share some insights from that with you because it was really interesting to take a look at this. And basically we were told over and over again that we were ordinary. So I wanna ask you, do you feel ordinary? Most of us want to feel extraordinary. We wanna be perceived as extraordinary. We wanna believe that we're extraordinary. The fact is that most people behave in a very ordinary fashion most of the time. So we, 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 don't, uh, we don't go above and beyond what's comfortable for, for us. So our comfort level sort of keeps us in ordinary. So we're here at this level in ordinary. And what that may mean is uh, not going above and beyond at work. It could mean yelling at our kids, even though we know that's really not what we want to do or who we want to be, but it's just a habit to yell at our kids. <clears throat> it could be that we um, have a fight with someone. Uh, maybe you have a fight with your sister and you walk away angry and then the two of you kind of say you're sorry, but you don't let go of it. You know, and so you're going through life with a really constrained relationship with your sister now because you're harboring this anger and you really haven't forgiven. And maybe you haven't even told her what's been going on. And maybe you haven't told your kids why you're so angry all the time and you yell at them. Maybe they don't understand because you don't bother to tell them. So the extraordinary part of this would be you know, to, to get yourself from this level to this level, which is extraordinary, takes doing something uncomfortable, doing something that most people don't do. So in the case of the sister, you know, you were angry at your sister, you had a problem, you, you said you were sorry, but you really weren't, and you were angry, and that's ordinary. Extraordinary would be to go to your sister and say, you know what? I said I was sorry, but I really wasn't. I was angry and I harbored that anger for the last 15 years because I had this story around it that, you know, I was right and you were wrong and how could you have done that to me? And you know what, I'm tired of it getting in the way of my relationship with you. And I wanna say that, you know, it was both of us and I definitely had my part and this is what I did, you know, blah, 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 I did this stuff and that definitely contributed and I really am sorry for that. And what I'm most sorry for is that for 15 years, we haven't been friends. There's been a, a wall between us. And with the kids, to be extraordinary rather than ordinary, even if you end up reacting and yelling at the kids, if you're gonna be an extraordinary parent and person, you would go to the kids afterwards and say, you know what, I'm really sorry that I yelled at you. It's not who I wanna be as a parent who yells at her kids. But you know what, I'm struggling at work. I really am, I, I don't like my job and it's, you know, I come home angry and frustrated from work and then when you don't pick up your laundry or do your homework, then I'm just so pissed off because it's just one more thing. And I'm gonna work really hard on not bringing my anger home with me um, and getting a new job and trying to find some solutions for myself, but it would be really helpful if you could just do these little things. It would really help me. That's a different conversation, right? That's a conversation that's up here, not down here. Not to mention, you could be saying to your kids, I'm really sorry, and how did that make you feel? How does it make you feel when I yell at you? And um, you know, maybe when I start to yell, you could like make a funny face, you know, make a pig face or something. You ever done that like this, you know, pig face? <laughs> and make me laugh and I'll figure it out that I, I'm yelling again and I don't want to. So let's be partners in this. That is extraordinary, right? So I want you to think about it today, how you are behaving in an ordinary way. And I don't want you to beat yourself up for it because we're human beings. Human beings are, you know, we, we tend to be pretty ordinary. We go along on our comfort level and we don't do the extraordinary things and we don't become the extraordinary people. In, in high performance coaching, we talk about, uh, we talk about choosing words that describe um, your best self in relationships, your best self um, 
in, in you know, six, like what would your success markers be? How would you describe yourself um, if you were very successful? You know, what would that look like? What words would you use to describe yourself? And how would you just describe your best self? And when you know, have those words, you can look at them on a daily basis and say, am I stepping into that person? Am I being that person now? Not someday, now. And when every day you're leveling up a little bit to step into that person, to remind yourself, that's who I wanna be and I'm gonna be that. Even if it's just a little bit, I'm gonna step into that. When you do that, that's extraordinary. That's extraordinary. And the, the highest performers in the world, that's what they're doing. They're actually daily stepping into their best self and they're doing what's hard and uncomfortable rather than staying stuck in what's comfortable. And I get it. it, it's nice to be comfortable. Man, I got some relationships that I really need to work on and it does not feel comfortable to do that. It does not feel comfortable to go to someone and say, hey, you know what, I messed up. I've been hanging on to some story from when I was six years old and that has affected my whole relationship with you. And it has nothing to do with you, it has all to do with me and some old story I made up that isn't even true and you know, I'm here to fess up and say I'm sorry that it affected our relationship. That's also taking ownership, taking responsibility for yourself, right? That's extraordinary. Most people don't do that, they make a bunch of excuses instead. So if your boss comes at you and says, you know what, you didn't do a good job on that project, and you say, you know, oh, well, I was so busy and I had these 10 other things to do, and blah, 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 that's ordinary. What's extraordinary is to say, you know what, you're right. I, did, I, had, I could give you a bunch of excuses, like there was a lot of stuff going on, and yeah, there was, but the fact is that I didn't prioritize this project and spend as much time on it as I should have. Right? So I look at that sometimes. I, I turned in something to, uh, I, I turned in a manuscript one time, uh, not in the you know, not too distant future or past, not too distant past, and had my literary agent say, you know, Nina, this was not your best work. I can tell you did this really fast. And guess what? I did. I didn't have time for it. It wasn't high on my priority list. And when I needed to turn it in, I did, but I didn't spend as much time on it as I could have. Right. And so I had to kind of eat that, take responsibility for it, that I could have done a better job. I just didn't. And yeah, I had all this other stuff going on. doesn't matter. The extraordinary person admits that they could have done a better job. Right. And then they do the better job, even though it feels hard and uncomfortable. I'm working on a book right now that same thing. Actually, I got my proposal and manuscript back and there's a bunch of work that still needs to be done on it. And, you know, there was part of me that knew that there would be work to be done on it. And uh, I had to just look at it and go, okay, yeah. I mean, had I been a little more thoughtful, taken a little more time, maybe there would have been a few less mistakes. But um, so luckily it's a collaborative process and I could just say that. I could say, okay, you know, I see what needs to be fixed and I'll fix it. Uh, that's extraordinary saying, oh, well, you know, you're wrong, that's okay the way it is, that's ordinary, right? I don't wanna be ordinary, do you wanna be ordinary? I know you don't wanna be ordinary, but we are. Again, do not beat yourself up for it. When you behave in an ordinary manner, it is just you being a human, you being a human, that is it. So don't beat yourself up over this. I'm not beating myself up over being ordinary, but I tell you what, I damn well wanna be extraordinary as much of the time as I could, or I can. I looked at this the other day also when I was taking this class that uh, there's some things I say that I do. Matter of fact, I'm like, that's me. Like, I do that. Like, I do personal development. I do personal growth. I am a certified high performance coach. This is what I do. I've been doing this since I was in my late 20s. But you want to know what? I got out of the habit of doing a lot of it. And I'm ordinary. I know when I need to go up to someone and have a really honest conversation and complete something that's been incomplete between us. I know that, but I fell out of the habit of doing it. Why? Because it was easier. It's easier just not to do it and then place a lot of blame elsewhere. That is so freaking ordinary. Ordinary, ordinary. So am I sorry that that's how I behaved? Of course. Would I like to have done it differently? Of course. Do I want to be someone different 
from this moment on, I do. And if I commit to that, then every time I fulfill that commitment and I do it differently, I complete with people, I do my best, I develop new habits and mindsets, I um, go out of my way to be the person I know I can be, those words that I developed, then I become extraordinary. And I may not be extraordinary in every moment and I can forgive myself for that and I can accept it as just being human, but I can commend myself and pat myself on the back every time I do something extraordinary. You can do something extraordinary by helping others, being of service, making it not about you and about them. Which really, if, if you've been har harboring, for instance, some resentment against somebody and you go to them and say, you know, I've been harboring this resentment for all this time for this silly reason and I really want to get rid of it and, you know, I'm sorry that it affected our relationship because I really want to have a relationship with you. Well, now you're extraordinary, right? and you are changing your relationship with the person and, and they get something out of that too. There's something in your sharing that allows them to open up and see you differently and to see the relationship differently and to see themselves differently. It's a gift. It's a gift. Are you gonna mess it up sometimes and be really ordinary despite trying to be extraordinary? Of course. Don't beat yourself up for that either. Just pat yourself on the back when you do it well. When you go out of your way to be uncomfortable and to to step into who you want to be and who you know you can be. So for me, like I said, I haven't been doing some of this stuff and that's not who I want to be. I want to be the person who does do it, who doesn't just say I do it, but actually do it. That will be extraordinary. So I want to challenge you today to be extraordinary. No, you won't be it in every moment. That's fine, but be it as much of the time as you can. Get out there, try it. Go from here to there, have these kind of conversations, behave this way, not down here where it's ordinary. And again, we're all ordinary. We are, we're human beings, but we can behave in extraordinary ways and that will make us extraordinary people. And it'll give us extraordinary relationships, extraordinary careers, extraordinary health, extraordinary love, extraordinary enthusiasm and joy, and uh, the ability to live an extraordinary life. And that's what I want for you. And I want it for me, but I want it for you too. So leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think. Tell me how you're going to go out there and be extraordinary today. Don't wait till tomorrow. How are you going to be extraordinary today? Leave me a comment down below. Okay. And while you're at it, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, these videos are all on my blog at ninaamirtak.com, but they're also at YouTube. And if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you'll get the videos. You can subscribe to the blog too. That'd be awesome. And if you didn't know, you just kind of happened on this video. I'm Nina Amir. I'm known as the inspiration to creation coach and I am a certified high performance coach, one of 300 elite coaches working around the world as certified high performance coaches. And it is my job to get you from here to there, to help you level up in life. And if you're a writer or an author, blogger, to help you level up in life so that you can accomplish your goals and make a positive and meaningful difference with your words. But maybe you just wanna make a positive and meaningful difference to make it not about you, but about others. I would be honored to help you do that. And it is my passion to help you create what you want in your life and to become the person you know you can be. So if that interests you, go to ninaamir.com forward slash free session, ninaamir.com forward slash free session and get a free one hour high performance coaching strategy session with me. You will go away with a minimum of five tips that you can put to use right away. Tips, tools, strategies, new mindsets, breakthroughs, all in an hour, I promise you. I promise you. Just try it. Sign up for a high performance coaching strategy session or actually apply for the high performance coaching strategy session at ninaamir.com forward slash free session or just go to ninaamir.com and click on the high performance coaching uh, button and scroll down to the application and fill it out. And if once I get your application, I think we're a good fit and that you're coachable, then, you know, and you're really serious about getting from here to there, I will contact you and we'll get together about scheduling and we will have the free session for an hour. My gift to you because I love this work and I want to help you. So I hope that I will get an application from you. In the meantime, leave that message down below. Let me know. Leave that comment down below. Let me know how you plan to be extraordinary. I know you are extraordinary already. Yeah, we're all ordinary, but we're extraordinary. We're unique. We're 
human beings with the ability to change and to choose to change, to say, this is who I'm going to be. I'm going to be that word. I'm going to be extraordinary and to step into it and to be it. And you have that in you to do it. So that is it for today. I hope you'll accept my challenge. And until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Thank you.